Hello everyone, this is Icona Kona. Here I'm playing as a Huntsman Sniper on Hoodoo, and later on I'm going to be switching to Nightfall. Now, as you guys know, I've been gone for a while, I haven't made a YouTube video in a while, um, and haven't been playing a lot of games, and for good reason. I've been pretty busy with grad school and such, but now that it's over and I have a little break, I decided to make some videos again. Now, another reason I haven't been playing a lot of TF2 recently is because I've gotten into a new type of game. Now, I've been playing first-person shooters for a very long time. I used to play Medal of Honor, Allied Assault, and Counter-Strike 1.6. I don't know if you guys remember that. Back on the PC, years and years ago. And that's basically my first person... This is where I started playing first-person shooters. And those are really, really fun, but... You know, years later, I'm still playing first-person shooters, and they all are fundamentally the same. The controls are pretty much the same. You know, the maps are different, and the game mechanics are a little different. But, you know, I can easily jump into this any kind of first person shooter and do pretty well just because I have the fundamentals that I built on for years and years so I have recently got into a new genre of games right now my favorite game is Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3 which is a fighting game it is completely different than a first person shooter it's so different in fact that I, I suck at it I, this is my first fighting game ever and I completely suck at it but I'm having so much fun with that game and that's kind of what I want to talk about in this video is having fun and not being so serious about these games. I know being serious sometimes can really really ruin a game for people and people I know people who play Call of Duty that take that game so seriously so seriously that it frustrates them and I'm thinking why? Why are they buying a game, why are they paying their own money to play a game only to get frustrated in the end? And it's it's kind of a tricky thing to deal with because it's really, really hard to detect that you're getting frustrated and you're just starting to hate a game. When I look back on the different games and different hobbies that I've had throughout my life, and uh, this, is, this is for me personally, I try to remember why... Look at this shot, by the way. Oh yeah, right through the rocks. That's an awesome shot. <laughs> well, I try to remember why I got into those games in the first place and when I think back on this I, the reason why I started playing a game and I started really you know you, you know getting into something is because I was having fun it wasn't to win that wasn't that was never the goal uh, when I think back on it it was never to get really really good at it or beat someone else or be the best at the game it was never about that it was always about having a good time and having fun but Here's what happens, and, and I've talked with my brother about this. When you start to play a game, you have fun, right? You initially have fun, and you don't even think about winning. But then you start to invest so much time into this that you start to get good. And once you start to get good, you start to set expectations for yourself. And when you set expectations and you don't meet them, and a lot of times people set expectations that are a lot higher than they can actually reach, um, I, I'm guilty of that too. But when you start setting these expectations and not meeting them, you start to get frustrated at this game that you once really enjoyed. You start to get really mad at yourself, mad at other people, start just really hating the game and really, you know, just not enjoying yourself, forgetting why you got into the game in the first place. And you end up quitting. And I've done this a lot, a lot, a lot, on different games that I used to love to play, but because... I started to get really good at it, <laughs> started to set expectations, and then when I didn't meet those expectations, I got frustrated and I quit. And it's kind of a shame that that happened because those games brought me a lot of time, a lot of hours of enjoyment, and I just gave up on it because I got frustrated. And I don't, I not, luckily, you know, when I was talking with my brother about this, I realized that I, I was going through this cycle uh, with a lot of the games that I played so I decided to try and you know forget about winning don't don't try to win and that's that's actually one of the reasons why I'm playing Huntsman right now <laughs> I'm not trying to win and um, I'm just trying to have a good time with TF2 that's all now I'm doing the same thing with this new game that I'm playing Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3 again it's a fighting game I know nothing about fighting games I suck at it but I really enjoy it and when I look back on it the reason why I enjoyed this game was because I started to watch fighting games on streams 
and Ultimate Marvel just looks so cool. By the way, look at this. Look at this. Yes! Kill the spy with the Tonkyo. Ah, oh, that's, that's one of the reasons why I love playing as Huntsman, is I get the Tonkyo people. But yeah, I first got into Ultimate Marvel because it's a really flashy game. It's a really cool looking game, you know, with all these really cool combos, a lot of different characters, not... You know, they're not from the same game. They're all mixed together. It's a versus game, so they, they just mix a bunch of these different characters together. But I thought that was really cool. And so that that's why I'm into this game. But uh, a couple of weeks back, before I got to talk with my brother about this subject, about having fun and not being so serious, I actually started to get serious. I started to get serious about this fighting game that I was completely new at. And that was a mistake right there. And... Luckily, I had that talk with my brother because we were able to catch this trend of me getting, you know, first off, you know, first having fun, then starting to get serious, and then setting expectations, then not meeting them, and then getting frustrated and quitting. Uh, luckily, I talked with my brother and we, we caught this uh, cycle that was happening, and I stopped that with Ultimate Marvel. I was able to catch it, and now I'm not so serious about it anymore. Now... I'm just in it for the fun. The original reason of why I started playing that game in the first place, which was the cool looking combos, the fun characters, and just having fun in general. Not about winning. And let me tell you that uh, the fighting community the fighting game community is really, really different than the first person shooter community. They have this term called saltiness, or someone being salty. And it usually happens when someone loses. In a fighting game, it's one on one. You know, maybe not the newest one, Cross Tekken, which is two on two. But for for years, fighting games has always been one versus one. And whenever you lose against someone, it feels more personal and it stings more <laughs> than when you lose in a first person shooter that's team based. With something like TF2, it's team based. Hell, you know, I'm a huntsman. I, I can't do much. I know that I can't do much for my team. And if we lose, we, I mean, we actually ended up winning this one, but if we lose, I kind of just blow it off because it's like I'm one person out of 12. It's really difficult to actually make a difference, you know? But with fighting games, it's you versus another person. And when you lose, it stings. It really stings. And it's fighting, playing fighting games, man, this was really tough for me to let losing not be an issue. Like, just say... I don't care about winning or losing, I'm here for the fun. And doing that in fighting games is so, so difficult. Uh, because it's one-on-one, -on -one and losing just stings. But, you know, I'm, I'm still working on it. Uh, I'm still trying to enjoy myself in the fighting games. And, you know, that's, that's why I play it, is to have fun. Now, let me tell you a story of when I was a kid. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to be in junior golf. I used to play junior golf. Uh, golfing was just... I guess my parents got me into it. I'm not really sure. I forget. But, by the way, look at this. Yes, another taunt kill. Love it. But yeah, I used to play junior golf. And I remember a really important thing that my dad told me a long time ago. But I only really understand it right now. And it's that you shouldn't win to have fun. When you have fun, the wins will come. Now, I didn't quite understand that because, you know, I, I thought golf was all about, or any competition, I thought any competition was about, oh, I gotta win, and if I, if I win a lot, then I'm gonna have a lot of fun. You know, I always thought that. But when I look back on this, my dad was right. When I had fun, when I just did something to have fun, and that was my only intention of doing that. Oh, look, by the way, look at this. Through the air and kill the soldier. Yes! <laughs> Another awesome moment as a sniper. But when I was a kid and I had fun doing something, I ended up doing really well at it. Just naturally. I didn't have to really, like, try. Or it didn't seem like I had to try. I, I probably was trying. But it didn't seem like I had to work really hard at it. It wasn't my only objective. My objective was to have fun. And... When I look back on my history of golfing, this became very clear. Uh, if you don't know how junior golf works, when you have a tournament and you play, 
they group you by how well you did in the previous tournament. They group you with people who shot about the same score as you. So you're, you're always playing with people who are about the same level as you. You know, that way uh, it's, it's challenging, I guess, for the players in that group. You always go out as a group. Now, when I played and I had a good time, I shot really well. I did pretty good. So, if I shot really well in that tournament because I had fun, the next tournament, I was going to be grouped with really, really high level people. Because I shot well, I was going to be grouped with other people who shot well. And unfortunately, the people who were good at golf were not that fun to play with, at least for me. Uh, I, for some reason, I just couldn't get along with them. I didn't have a good time with them because for, for some reason, it seemed like the only reason why they played golf was to win. They were so serious that it just wasn't fun for me. They just were so serious and I just couldn't talk to them during the round, like they just didn't want to talk, all they were focused on was winning. So I would play with them, I would not have fun, and I would shoot really poorly, really really bad scores. Now the next round after that, the next tournament after that, because I shot bad, because I played with all the good players <laughs> who weren't fun, I shot bad, then I would be grouped with people who weren't so good. But those guys are fun. Those guys are really fun to play with. And so there was this continuous cycle of I would play I would play around, I would have fun and shoot well. Then in the next tournament, I'll be grouped with people who are not fun and shoot bad. And then because I shot bad, the next tournament after that, I would be grouped with people who, you know, didn't shoot so well before, but were a lot of fun to play with. And oh fail right there. <laughs> and then what I was like Man, that, that's, that's a clear example of what I'm going through right now, of, of ha doing something because it's fun, not because you want to get good at it or win. Like my dad said, it's not about winning. It's not about winning. Winning shouldn't determine if you're having fun or not. If you have a lot of fun, the wins will come. And now I, I really, really understand that. And now I'm, I'm trying to apply that kind of thinking to either the old things that I'm used to play. Well, not used to play, that I still play, but I play a little less. Like TF2. I haven't been playing too much TF2, but I approach this game now with the idea of just having fun. Uh, before, I used to get a little competitive. I used to get a little, quote, salty when my team didn't have a medic or didn't have a heavy or we had too many snipers or too many spies. Now I realize that, you know what? It's for fun. I'm going to let it go. I'm here to just have a good time. And by the way, look at that. I just... He was standing still. <laughs> that was such an easy headshot and I missed. And then, you know, that's why I'm playing Huntsman. Huntsman, for me, is a very fun... Uh, a fun class. It's a fun loadout because it's so different from all the other games that I've played. You know, usually it's a, a gunshot, you know, I'm usually using a gun that is, you know, shoots instantly across the map, and it's, yeah, I've done it before. But now, Huntsman, a lot of fun. I have the taunt kill at my disposal, which, by the way, I should have used on this guy. For some reason, he just stopped. <laughs> I don't know, maybe his mouse ran out of batteries or something, but whatever. Free kill. But yeah, I'm starting to apply this type of thinking to all the games that I play, because even though these games... They're games, right? They are competitive. But if I try to approach it like that, I might fall into that trap of setting expectations and quitting. And, you know, that's just, it's kind of sad to quit a game that you once loved just because you weren't good at it. You know, that, that shouldn't be the focus of a game unless you're like a pro player, you know, you're actually making money off of this. So those are my thoughts about having fun with these games. Uh, I feel that it's really important uh, not to forget why you enjoy games in the first place. But why do you guys like to play games? Do you like to play games just to beat them, beat other people? Or do you like to have fun or maybe something else? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.